Okay, so let's take a look at how you do this question here. So the problem is we're being asked to calculate how much you would have to invest, okay, if we were earning simple interest um, based on uh, $1,000 over 30 months and the interest rate is 3.2%. Okay, so let's just write down a few things that we need to know here. The key thing here is simple interest. So we should be able to look up or remember the formula of how we calculate simple interest. Simple interest is given by the formula I, which is, stands for the interest earned, is equal to the principal, which is the amount invested, so that's the letter P, times the rate, the interest rate, which we'll um, use the letter R for, times the amount of time that the investment is left to sit. Okay, so interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So let's just write out what these um, numbers if, that we can find for these variables here. So we need to know, um, calculate how much you would have to invest. So that means we have to know the principal. That's what we're being asked to find. Okay, so the principal is the question mark. We know the interest being earned is $1,000 or 1,000 units. We also know the interest rate is equal to 3.2%. Now we can't use 3.2% as is, so anytime you see a percent, you just drop the percent sign and divide by 100. So the interest rate is actually always a decimal and it's going to be 0.32. Okay, and the time is 30 months. Now 30 months, is not the correct unit when we're l calculating um, interest with these formulas. Okay, the interest rate is always given as an annual or a yearly rate, which means the time has to be expressed in terms of years. So the easiest way to do that is we take months and we just divide it by 12. Okay, so 30, there's 12 months in a year, so there's 30 over 12 is the number of units in a, it that we would have as a unit for years. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that so that we don't have to, you don't have to convert it right away. And then what we'll do is we're just going to plug these numbers into the formula and then see what we get. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we'll do that. So the interest is a thousand. So a thousand is equal to, the principal is what we have to find, so that's P. Now the interest rate is 0.032. Two. Okay, so the way we would normally write this is I usually just use brackets because any time we have a letter next to a bracket or two numbers side by side in brackets, it just means multiply. So it's principal times the rate. Okay, so that's short notation for that. And then the time times the time, which I'm not even going to convert at this point. I'm just going to leave it as 30 over 12. Okay, so this is what we get when we substitute. Um, our numbers into the equation. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to simplify values here and we want to get a number in front of the variable p. Okay, so there's nothing we can do with the thousand, but we can take our calculator, okay, and we can go 30 divided by 12, which is 2.5, and then we times it by 0 0.032, okay, which is going to give you 0 0.08. Okay, so we take these these two values together here. And again, you can do this all in your calculator so that you don't have to do extra steps, but that is going to give you 0 0.08, okay, which is the number, and then we're just gonna write it, uh, the letter next to it. Okay, so this is like the standard algebra notation. So now we're just trying to solve our equation here for the value of P. Okay, so that's our next step. So the way you solve for this is you divide by the number that you see in front of the variable. It just so happens that this number is a decimal, okay, but it's no big deal. You just divide by the exact same number you see so that these cancel out, and then whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So that means um, we're gonna divide the thousand divided by 0 0.08. So then what we're going to get as an expression that we have to work out is a thousand divided by 0 0.08. Okay, so again, you take your calculator and then 1,000 divided by 0 0.08, and that's equal to a value of 12,500. Okay, and that's gonna be the unit in dollars. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. Now, what you wanna do is you just wanna go back and ask yourself, does it make sense? 
okay? Does the answer make sense? So we are trying to earn a thousand dollars in interest, okay, from from a bank that's offering an interest rate at 3.2%. So does it make sense that the principal would have to be much, much larger in order to earn a thousand dollars? Okay, because typically you won't earn a thousand dollars by investing a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. You usually have to invest a larger amount of money. Right? And the interest rate they're offering here is quite small, it's 3.2%. So that means it would make sense that the principal that you're trying to invest, okay, would have to be much greater in order to make that $1,000. So yes, this does make sense as in terms of an answer. Okay, so you can be fairly confident that, that this answer is in the right um, order, right order of magnitude, okay, and that the steps um, before that are the way that you would approach to get it. Okay, so that's how you could look at doing question number five.